orchard at Hampton and this orchard was planted by the Jersey Cider Orchard Trust and its traditional varieties of Jersey cider apples. Uh, what we do um, every year is we have a two-day event at Hampton called La Fezzi de Siege and the name is actually Jersey French for cider making. Apple growing and cider making is a really big part of Jersey's heritage and history whereby ever since 1300 there's been a record of cider being drunk in Jersey and in the 1600s and 1700s about 20% of the island's agricultural land was actually used for growing apples to the extent that the states or the government actually barred any more orchards being planted because we, there was just not enough land left for other crops. So uh, we are celebrating Jersey's heritage and we are using the traditional way of making cider whereby the horse is in the pressoir or cider barn walking round the crusher which is made of a special granite from Chausset which is an island near France. This year we've got Ivor Barrett's horse. We've been doing this festival for about I think 15 years. So the horse walks around the crusher creating pulp, crushing the apples, creating pulp. That pulp is then put onto a press. Hi, um, I'm Mick Burrell. I've uh, been working on the cider press for quite a number of years now. Um, what the process is, um, the apples are crushed and they're put into a barrel over the side there. Then what we do is empty buckets, we count the buckets to go in this, this small box here and it's called a cheese. So what you do is you fill this up, wrap it up in like a parcel, move the casing up and build what we call cheeses up. So we get about 14 or 15 of these parcels going all the way up and they must be even. If you don't get an even cheese, you don't get a good press on it and you leave the juice in the apples. What happens, this is, this is only used, this is only used one weekend a year. So when we finish it all gets clean and left. And do you boys know what happens to wood when it dries out? So basically the apple pulp, which is then known as pomace, is layered between hessian, wrapped in the hessian and becomes known as cheese because the old fashioned word for cheese actually means anything that's wrapped. How many in there? There's ten in there so far. That's the first one. That's a proper tool, isn't it? That's a proper tool. Layers of these cheeses are built up until they reach a height so that a sheet of wood is put over the top and the press with guys standing at each end simultaneously turning these huge screw fittings. We put beams into the main turns and screws there and press them on an even basis so we get a nice even press all the way down. We've got a very unusual and very special press here at Hampton because it's a twin screw press. A lot of presses have just one single screw in the centre but ours, as the name suggests, has got a screw fitting on each side. The press is brought down and the juice is literally squeezed from the apple pulp. And once that starts, the apple juice just gushes out into here, um, which is then transferred into the barrels over there. Uh, they're left for about a year. Um, they're topped up over the, over the winter months because they ferment out. They're topped up over the winter months and then caps left for about 12 months. And magically, over the months, becomes cider. Salud! Salud! And all the visitors stand around watching this tasting last year's cider. So the majority of people stand in the cider barn watching the apple crushing, but then we spend hours on site wandering around. And we also have lots of different apple themed, autumnal, traditional, local activities and foods on offer. An activity that's very popular with families is the apple juicing. Not everyone drinks cider, not everyone drinks alcohol, so what we do on site is organic apple juicing. So we've got a lovely Vigo press. And 
Basically, the apples are chopped into quarters, put into the top of the machine, the handle's turned. It's the same process, essentially, as what's going on in the cider barn with the horse crushing the apples. We end up with an apple pulp, which is then put into the lower part of the machine and pressed, and out comes the juice. And people absolutely love this gorgeous, fresh apple juice. And it's a lovely activity because essentially it's a small scale version of what's going on inside a bar with an instant result which is this lovely pure organic juice. Maureen Lebrun comes with a team of wonder makers. Jersey wonders have a fantastic smell so we've got this gorgeous scent of freshly cooked wonders wafting over the sides. Cabbage loaves being cooked uh, again, a really lovely smell. Very hard work for the bakers in the hot bakehouse, but um, a very popular thing. Again, a traditional um, Jersey way of baking bread. Uh, a really lovely artist called Bianca Padida makes leaf crowns with the children, which are essentially a celebration of autumn using just a little bit of cardboard with gorgeous brown and red and golden leaves attached. So. We have lots of people wandering around with these beautiful, natural leaf crowns on their heads. And she was also doing an apple-themed craft activity as well. But also very important in our event are the Jersey Cider Orchard Trust. Once a year we have tastings. And this year at the Fezzi de Siege, they've um, asked the general public to vote give numbers out of 10 for each of four different single varieties and it's a blind tasting so nobody knows quite what um, it is that they're drinking. Like all creatures really in, in this world, um, they're of different temperaments and different attitudes. I mean, with us, we have people that work very hard, we have people that we consider to be lazy, we have happy people, we have grumpy people and it's exactly the same with the honeybee, exactly the same. So when we're, when we're selecting honeybees to, to breed from, what we're looking for are bees that are gentle, that don't come at you and try stinging you all the time. School teacher or keep it to you? Give it to your mummy or your grandma. We have the Gerrier team. Uh, the Long Gerrier is the Jersey French language of Jersey, which is actively being promoted in schools. All the signage at our event we have translated into Jersey French to encourage people you know, to be aware of the Jersey French language. And the Gerrier Choir perform on the Saturday lunchtime. It's a really wonderful atmosphere and the best thing about this event is that it attracts lots of families so you get the tiniest babies through to the very, very elderly and really Jersey people coming along and all the ages in between and everyone seems to really enjoy it. There's always a lovely atmosphere here. Thank <laughs> you.